This video you're watching is AI generated, by the way. C can you disprove this? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can for now, but with uh, the rise of certain technologies that people have been talking about in these last few days, we have gotten to a point where AI can reliably make video. And I've been talking about this for a while. In fact, in my last video about AI, which was a few weeks ago, talking about the whole Taylor Swift thing, I was afraid we would get here. And here we are, not, not too long after. Like as you could see here with this, one of the examples I'll show you, is that this video at first glance is kind of hard to tell whether it's real or not. And uh, well, if you take a few minutes, eventually you'll spot it. But that's for people who have the time. Most people don't even bother fact checking anything they learn from the internet. So for them to fact check a video they watched, pretty unlikely. And uh, there's a decent chunk of humanity who are not really tech savvy. So that's another issue. But yeah, so everyone's talking about Sora. Not the Kingdom Hearts character, Sora, as in OpenAI's new software. AI designs a video from the text you prompt it. So we already have the image generator, now we're getting to video. The videos are actually very good. They're the decent chunk look pretty realistic, whether it's an animation or environment or just whatever your mind can imagine. And this is really getting people to talk about the fact of, is this what we really want? Because from here, it's gonna get way more advanced. It, it's learning at a rapid pace. And this didn't really come out of nowhere. I remember seeing the video quality of AI getting uh, exponentially better uh, since the last year I saw it where it was making just random Will Smith eating spaghetti. Uh, yeah, that was nightmare fuel. And then there was also the cat dating commercials and then the cat food rocking whatever commercials. I remember seeing those and it, it was more like a dream, you know, like if you are an acid, yeah, th these videos make sense. But now, these videos are pretty crisp, and um, it's, it's getting really difficult to know what's real and what's fake, and it's becoming more concerning. And uh, this brings the question, how are we gonna actually maintain the truth? maybe a digital footprint or something uh the way like steam makes it that games have to say yes ai content was used here because videos definitely need to have this otherwise you're gonna have a lot of lies and deception being thrown around and it's gonna cause a lot of problems for humanity we already live in an age of disinformation this is gonna throw gasoline to the fire like people are already making jokes about oh uh, being in court someone producing ai <laughs> videos of you doing a crime which you've never done and um i i don't think that is my first concern because of the fact of the matter is uh uh, I, I, I'm comfortable thinking that humanity will not fall for a trick like that, that they will understand that, hey, it, this won't be a good evidence to use in court because it can throw someone under the bus really easily if you just believe what you see with your eyes. Uh, and um, yeah, we, also the fact that there will be professionals who can spot out AI, right? Uh, we have software to can point out, hey, AI was used here. So same thing will be used in courts. That's not my fear. My biggest fear is that AI is going to be taking a lot more jobs now. You, you've been seeing like the tech layoffs with Blizzard, Microsoft, and many other companies, whether they're video game or technology companies. Mass layoffs have been happening and most people say it's either budget cuts or some other thing where maybe the CEO needs another yacht so they just cut half of their workforce. But um, it's about AI and most generally what I've been seeing in the last few days is like Cisco. Cisco is a company that makes a lot of information technology based software and hardware such as the routers and switches that help with uh, your networking. And uh, they laid off more than 4,000 
1,000 employees to focus on artificial intelligence. The same way that the assembly line was made and that took down a decent chunk of workers and sure it opens up new jobs as well but AI is doing it in a way that I feel like it's taking down a lot more jobs than making new ones you know it's a very dangerous mixture we're getting a lot of people being laid off and having nothing to do prices going high I feel like you're setting up a, a lot of disgruntled human beings that could potentially with all the free time start some sort of french revolution on these ceos that aren't bothering to take care of their middle class employees even the ones who are working they're, they're getting their paychecks chopped here and there so that's the thing that i'm afraid of and and the end of the day ai is supposed to help you know, may, new technologies or, and new discoveries are supposed to help humanity make their lives a bit easier. The problem is our leaders, uh, they're, they're either incompetent, don't understand, or just want to cut efforts and costs wherever they can. The normal people be damned. So that's the big issue here. But it's a brave new world and we're going to have to step into it. And I think... The best way is to get ahead of the curve and learn AI and be able to set ourselves up to knowing the ins and outs of it because we're going to be stepping into an era that's going to be hard to detect what is real or what's not real and we really can't trust our physical senses anymore, can we? Uh, we really need to put our critical thinking to the ultimate test and figure out is this real or not real? AI is here to stay, but we gotta find a way to adapt. And human beings, we tend to adapt a lot. But it is a... Yeah, it's just terrifying in every way capacity because we're probably gonna get strange looking robots and restaurants that are human shaped with human artificial skin. I, I just don't know uh, how I'm going to adapt to that. Also, the last thing I want to say is Sora isn't the only text-to-video AI generator now. Uh, there's been a decent chunk of them. I've been following this for a good few months now. Many different companies have been propping up their version. And it was the same with ChatGPT. ChatGPT, then Google had their version. Microsoft had their version. Everyone has their own little... AI generator and the same is with videos everyone's gonna pop out their own not just open AI and um, yeah any anybody can just put in a prompt and get a video we're probably gonna live in a future where you could just make whatever you want to watch make a concept type it in and you get the movie and whatnot but some of it still looks bizarre like this one here with the puppies playing like they, they just keep coming out of nowhere like you see stuff like that you'll pick up instantly but ai will learn and the more it learns the more better it gets this makes it easy to get i guess stock footage i i feel like shutter stock or whatever those um imagery video services they're gonna be the ones who are gonna end up like blockbuster if they don't um figure something out here but yeah this really does shake up the entire industry many industries in fact like you know corporations, they'll do anything to cut out the normal day man and just replace them with a robot. Look at that, the chair just floating by itself. Yep, Casper is a great member of the crew. As you could see, like there are still the, some of them that um, look pretty creepy, like this. I know it's trying to mimic a human, but it just doesn't have the human behaviors, you know? It sort of looks like that Mass Effect Android Media, whatever it was called. It's still in that phase. So we still have time before the robot uprising. But um, for now, it's gotten a lot better. Now, it isn't all doom and gloom because as you could see here, for OpenAI at least, they do have policies where they're going to put in tools to say that the video was generated by Sora to avoid like misinformation, hateful content, and bias from being spreaded. 
that's great that the company themselves are doing it. It's just human beings. They find a way to do heinous things. And uh, there's also the fact that most people don't bother with uh, researching on their own or think thinking critically. This, this is the big problem, but this is why I say you're going to have to stay informed, keep your loved ones informed, definitely your elderly. They're, they're going to believe a lot of this stuff that's going to be coming out. So be there for them. Tell them, hey, don't believe everything you see. That That's not real over there. That's not an elf actually break dancing in the White House. Uh, just try and deconstruct all the lies that are going to be popping up. Because the first thing that happens with new technology is memes. And these memes, it, it causes... It causes good laughs, but it also causes a lot of confusion. I, I've had, uh, like, my my own grandparents were fooled thinking that a cat ran across a soccer field and made a goal. It was ba basically a YouTuber named Owl Kitty who was doing it. But that wasn't even AI. That was just a YouTuber with good skills and green screening and video editing. And that got them fooled. Now you're going to have more of this stuff. And it's going to be very, very, very difficult. But uh, I don't know what to say, man. Uh, I don't want to make any more predictions because I don't want them to be true. It feels like the universe is just doing it on purpose now. But nah, um, I'm hopeful. Uh, I, I've, but hopeful but cautious. That I think that's the way I want to go. Yeah, stay safe out there. Try not to get confused in these weird times we're living in. And um, yeah, uh, that's all there is.